All right, we're going right to the edge of Napa Valley for this Cabernet tasting. All right, welcome back to Drinking It In. I'm your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And uh, we're wrapping up our Napa Cabernet uh, series with a Cabernet Sauvignon from Pride Mountain Vineyards. Now, Pride Mountain Vineyards is located on all the way on the top of Spring Mountain, and its, um, its property is in Napa and Sonoma County. So while it's very much a Napa Cabernet Sauvignon, you'll see that on this bottle, the, um, the breakdown is 59% Napa Valley, 41% Sonoma County. So it's, um, or 59% Napa County, 41% Sonoma. It's pretty cool, um, you know, just that they have to be that precise on um, how they label their, their wines because of where they are. I mean, naturally, I think they could just take the Napa fruit and do a Napa Cabernet and do take the Sonoma fruit and do a Sonoma Cabernet, but it's, um, it's kind of, it's just more fun. I think um, it probably yields better, better results, but I think it's fun that they have to break it down that way. Um, we did a tasting up at Pride Mountain uh, a few years ago, um, before any of the, the last two fires, right, where that kind of devastated the area a bit. And um, the way that they did the tastings um, was just, it was, it was amazing, right? It was, we, you were in sort of a, a library setting for a few wines, then they took you out through the fermentation room and see all the stainless steel tanks and you ta we tasted some Merlot from a stainless steel tank and then you went into the caves where they were aging all the, the wines and the barrels. Really, really cool. Um, very down to earth people. You know, I highly recommend it when, you know, when things are back to normal or if you're in Napa and they do offer the tours. Um, great wines, great people, just, you know, an awesome experience. So. This is from uh, a little, this is a little more recent, 2014 um, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, and, you know, I think I'm expecting this to be very Napa forward and not necessarily a Sonoma Cabernet. So if you think about, you know, the difference between Napa Cabernets and Sonomas is Napa much more black fruited, Sonoma generally more red fruited. So I expect this to be along the lines of what we've been tasting over the last few episodes. And let's, um, well, let's give it a try. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, it has that warm black fruit. Okay, I say warm. The, um, it has that black fruit profile. The warm autumn spices are there. You know, I'm getting that, uh, you know, blackberries laced in a little bit of cinnamon. Maybe some nutmeg. I'm getting a lot of nutmeg in red wines that I'm drinking lately, and I don't smell a lot of nutmeg you know, during the course of my regular um, daily life. So it's interesting. This has been open. Um, I've taken a couple of uh, sips here and there. It has been open for two days. Um, Cause frankly, after the first day, it smelled like it, it just kind of tasted like it needed some time. And we'll see, we'll see if I was correct. Yeah, oh, it totally benefited from the extra day. It almost had a little bit of like the chlorine taste, um, like a tinny, like very metallic tinny chlorine. -y. And I just, I was hoping that would blow off and, and it blew off because that is, there is nothing left there. Um, other than gorgeous dark black fruit, um, almost a little perfumey potpourri type of um, essences in there. It's remarkably smooth. It's very long, so this is this is still going. This is gonna be, I'm gonna be tasting this for at least another 30 seconds, I can, I can tell. Um, remarkably smooth and, and elegant, right? So this is not, this is not a, if you're looking for a big, the biggest, most powerful Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, this is not where you should go, right? Go to get get yourself a Don, you know, Cabernet Sauvignon, Howell Mountain, um, you know, some of those big boys. But if you're looking for something that's um, that's elegant, it's going to be more versatile, right? Something that you can 
it's not going to necessarily overpower a you know a, a beautiful hamburger but you can still have it with a gorgeous ribeye this is the type of wine you're going to want smelling it again here i get some of that like a little bit of opening a can of fresh paint aromas some herbal notes too i want to say dill so now I get blackberries, dill, fresh paint, and nutmeg. A little cinnamon sprinkled on top. Mm. Yeah, this is a good one. I still have one more bottle in the cellar or upstairs in the wine cabinet, if you will. Um, it's, I can't say enough about the place, but this wine is, is, is definitely a winner. So. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the Cabernet series that we've done over the last few weeks, right? Getting you set up for drinking some more red wine in the cooler weather. Um, well, I'm sure I'll be sneaking in another Cabernet Sauvignon soon, but um, hopefully all is well. Hopefully you're enjoying um, a little bit of the snap of the cooler weather, and I will see you guys soon. Cheers.